Hey, so I'm Jeff. I'm a member of the Woodcrest Bruder Half, and uh, my job is to grow the vegetables. Somebody's got to do it. We're starting a series of video blogs here. Um, we're hoping to take you through some of the uh, details of vegetable production. We're um, located here in, in upstate New York, Rifton. We're in the Wack Hill River Valley. We've got the Wack Hill behind me, and uh, we've got the backdrop of the Shungham Mountains, the north end of the world famous Shungams. And we've got beautiful river bottom soil. We farm about 20 acres, and that's enough vegetables to feed our community of 300 people here at Woodcrest. There's not too much going on right now outside, so I'd like to talk a little about, about uh, greenhouse production. So follow me into the greenhouse. So it's early April, it's time to start seeds. How to start a seed? Well, how does a seed sprout? Gotta have light, gotta have heat, gotta have moisture. Light, heat, moisture. We got broccoli seedlings here. Uh, these are just off the heat mat, seedlings ready to get transplanted out. This guy is about five days old. What we've done is we've um, seeded a fairly tight spacing on a seed starting tray. And what has to happen next in the greenhouse process is to take these seedlings and transplant them into larger size plugs. This is called a plug tray. You've got approximately one and a half square cells in here. Each plant is going to get transplanted into a plug. So let's talk a bit about light. What's going to happen? As these plants grow up, they're looking for the light. They sense the neighboring plants are doing the same thing. So when they start getting crowded out, they're going to grow up higher and higher competing for that light. And what you're going to end up with is a really leggy, spindly plant if you don't give it enough space. Let's say you keep it 90 degrees in here, or 85. The plants aren't going to die, but what's going to happen is, with the length of day that we have now in April, with the amount of light, the plants are thinking, where's the light? It's really hot, but where is the light? Um, and they're going to grow up looking for that light, thinking they're getting crowded out. So you've got to keep, this time of year, you've got to keep your greenhouse temperature cooler. I keep you know, keep it 60 degrees in here. We do that with, through um, automatic ventilation. Plants need moisture, but you don't want to overdo it. If you overwater them, they're going to get uh, diseases like damp off. Um, obviously, underwatering them, they're going to dry up. So you got to do it about. You got to do it by feel. Keep them moist, but not sitting in a lot of water. The, the root system should not be saturated the whole time. I'm watering at this time of year about once every two days. Some of the plants, um, I overhead water, they're more tolerant. Some of the more sensitive plants to, to water on the leaves, like tomatoes, which disease easier, um, I bottom soak. What happens when a plant has spent its entire life inside a ideal conditions of a greenhouse? They're tender, they're, uh, they're not really ready for the harsh, harsh conditions of the field, the wind, the direct sunlight, the, the moisture, or the, uh, the dryness of the soil. They need to be hardened off. We do that here in the cold frames. Um, just a simple structure with a bit of a lid, clear lid. We can close at night um, just to keep them protected during the night. But then they're mostly open. They're exposed to a bit of wind. They're exposed to direct sunlight. And um, I also let them dry out a bit. I don't water them and, and let the roots dry up. They, they wilt a little bit maybe. And that, that produces a tougher plant that's more ready for the, uh, the conditions that are in the field when we transplant them out. So here's what happens when you wait too long before you set your plants in the ground. They get root bound. You can see it's just a mass of white roots with nowhere to go inside the, the plastic plug tray. And that's a problem, that's going to stunt growth. Next to is the broccoli plant with uh, the, the correct amount of root growth. So that covers the basic greenhouse production here at the Woodcrest Farm and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>